What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel and yes I said another video on this channel. I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've already posted with this video four videos like I'm being consistent with the uploads like I really hope you guys appreciate it because I'm going to be continuing posting videos like this very frequently so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel it, it does mean a lot and it definitely helps out uh, it allows me to make these videos and basically continue doing what I love to do but in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to assist feed your bearded dragons. Now, this is a question I've been getting a lot on Instagram. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow me at underscored Lord of Lion. And I've been getting this question on, you know, my bearded dragon isn't eating, what can I do? Now, I decided to put up this video because, you know, maybe some of you guys are not having this trouble, but it's always good to know. But before, you know, I begin, if your bearded dragons isn't eating, you first wanna check to see that you're actually keeping it correctly. Cause like I always say, if your bearded dragon isn't getting any heat, it won't eat. So it's pretty straightforward. If your bearded dragon isn't warm enough, it's not gonna want to eat. It's probably just gonna want to like chill and you know, not even be active at all. So definitely check out your husbandry to make sure that everything's on point, that it's consistent with the temperatures and what time you turn it on and off you better be consistent. But this is more for like an emergency in case you guys really need to do it because for me, BB got sick early 2019 and I did have to assist feed her after basically giving her medicine. And if you notice, she's back up to weight, she's eating, she's doing a lot better. So um, I wanna share with you this video on how to assist feed your bearded dragons. So let's go. But before we go, oh man, these extra long videos, uh, and it's mostly just me doing this, walking back and forth, 15 seconds, hey, you better not be skipping this part, don't you even think about it, cause you know what time it is, we gotta zoom in, Woo! Man, this is that 15 seconds of me zooming into my dead plant. Oh wow, that's, okay, this one's not doing so great. But honestly, I'm probably gonna make this into a t-shirt. Like, I'm gonna find a way to make this into some sort of merch, cause yeah, my dead plant, once again, it's right back there. <laughs> but like I said, let's just get started with this video. Let's go. Okay, so we got BB here. And she is basically gonna be the one that I show you guys how to assist feed. But before I do that, you know, like I mentioned earlier, you wanna make sure that your bearded dragon is warm. So this hot spot is nice and warm, but not only is this nice and warm, BB is also nice and warm. So as you can see, she was underneath the basking and her body temperature is reading about 90, Eight, you know 95 98 so not only is the hot spot warm where she was she is warm so sometimes bearded dragons for some reason they will sit at the hot spot but they won't get warm so you want to make sure that your dragon is warm as well if it's underneath the basking spot if it's obviously in the colder side you want to make sure that your bearded dragon could cool down but don't just like get a hot spot and you know basically your bearded dragon is still cold so make sure your bearded dragon is warm now, when it comes to assist feeding, you don't wanna be shoving down food down its throat because if your bearded dragon is weak, then your bearded dragon you know, might not even be able to digest it properly. But what I like to do is actually get a syringe. Now, this is mostly for water, so what I would do is actually get some water. <laughs> she kinda already knows. But I would, hey, BB, are you gonna cooperate? So I would get some water and basically open her mouth slightly. And the way you wanna do it is you wanna pull down just a little bit, enough for her to basically be able to open it. And you wanna just squeeze. Here you go, BB. Sorry, girl, sorry. I know I know it's painful, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't mean, don't mean to hurt you. And you wanna just slowly do this. So you don't wanna be forcing her to basically eat but you want to slowly get her to want to drink water now 
Um, you know, of course you could do this with medicine and other things, but I find that bearded dragons for some reason, they get really dehydrated when you start to medicate them for whatever they might have. So you might have to do this a couple times to make sure that they're actually drinking. If your bearded dragon stops drinking, if your bearded dragon is drinking and is and it's fine, then you, you don't really need to do this. Like BB, she is, you know, she's active, she's eating, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge. But um, I'll definitely recommend if you guys, uh, like I said, if your bearded dragon stops drinking, to give this a try. Basically just put it slightly in their mouth and you, you wanna slightly put it in their mouth and basically syringe feed them some water. Here you go, BB. Yeah. So the next way that you could assist feed a bearded dragon, in case your bearded dragon, for whatever reason, is not eating its veggies, is actually to try this out. So what you wanna do is get its favorite insect. I like using superworms because they're a bit slow. And basically the icky <laughs> veggie <laughs> that BB actually wants. Okay, BB, we're, we're pretending like you don't like this, okay? So pretend like you don't like it. Okay, you better not go after my, my fingernails. Okay, <laughs> chill girl. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you have to be quick on this, is actually put the superworm. BB, okay, you're supposed to pretend like you don't like this. BB, chill, chill. Okay, this is obviously not working. <laughs> so we have it, BB. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for yelling, but you actually need to chill. So we're gonna get the superworm and we're basically gonna place it there. Okay, BB, you're ignoring the superworm. We're gonna place the superworm and we're just gonna quickly do a switcheroo. Just like that, boom. Boom, you seeing that? She's like, ugh. <laughs> but, you know, you could repeat the process because obviously they're not gonna really like the veggie and you wanna just, boom. Seen that? Seen that? So it's sort of like, you know, you're assist feeding them to eat their veggies in a way. Well, you technically are. <laughs> she does not like the... <clears throat> it's gonna take you a couple tries to get it, you know, in their mouth and stuff but once they start eating it this is kind of getting them to get used to it's okay to eat greens and I have actually had great success with this um, after multiple times BB was actually one that didn't like eating her veggies you know I got BB to eat her veggies in this way so definitely give it a try now this one is more of an assist feeding for a bearded dragon what I'm gonna be using is actually this Rapashi grub pie now this you usually can make this into um kind of like cubes it's a powder mixture i don't know if you guys could see but it's basically a powder mixture that you add water um and it basically makes these like jello cubes once you like slice it up but this right here actually saved bb believe it or not um you know she was losing weight and i was getting really concerned because she wasn't eating i've you know, I took her to the vet, they gave her medicine, but I needed her to eat. So what I decided to do was actually get a syringe and use this mixture, make it very, um, like almost like water and be able to fit it in a syringe. And BB already knows what's coming. <laughs> but all I'm basically doing is just same way that I gave her water, but this time it's this grub pie mixture. So BB, cooperate. Okay, BB. Okay, good girl, good girl. Good girl. So obviously BB is back on food and she could eat on her own, but you know, I did have to feed her in this way and I hope that none of you guys ever have to experience, you know, a bearded dragon that's not eating and you have to feed them. And if this ever does happen, um, obviously take your bearded dragon to the vet, make sure that your bearded dragon is healthy, but you could always give this a try where you get the syringe and you basically have your bearded dragon <laughs> feed on it. And she's hungry. So she's actually, I'm actually really happy that she's like back on food, but you know, this actually did help a lot and it did save um, BB <laughs> and it got her back to weight, back on food. So, you know, I wanted to put this video together and show you guys just a couple of techniques that I've done in the past on how to assist feed a bearded dragon. But then again, don't be shoving food down its throat. Um, I'm not getting the syringe and shoving it down. You kind of just want to like put it right on the base. BB, calm down, man. And you just want to slightly, slowly squeeze, um, right? Hey, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you want to just slightly squeeze and allow them to eat on their own in a way. So um, hopefully this video has helped.
Well guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it has helped some of you guys out there with this problem. Now, before I go, I really want to thank all of you guys who have been supporting this channel and I kind of have a surprise for some of you guys who have made it this far in this video. Um, I'm actually in talks with someone who's going to help me make some merch. So I really want to reach out to you guys and come and see if you guys are down or if you guys really want something you know that's kind of like related to this channel so I'm planning on making some t-shirts maybe some sweaters I'm coming up with some ideas for some reason I kind of want to put this dead plant on a t-shirt like imagine like like someone like holding this like this <laughs> I don't know but I'm coming up with some ideas I think it'll look kind of cool like on a black t-shirt uh, <laughs> like a dead rose or something that symbolizes this plant but if you guys really want merch, I want you guys in the comment section down below to put we want merch. So that way I know, okay, all these people actually want merch and I'd better start working on it a lot faster. So just spam the, the comment section down below with we want merch, we want merch and I'll get back to you guys and I'll be like, all right, it's crunch time. We, we're gonna make some t-shirts of like the, all those catchphrases like quality, like, consistent like zoom in like there's so many things that I do in this video that could honestly be on a t-shirt that <laughs> I think some of you guys would enjoy it so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys really want something like that but with that being said that is it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'm Lord of Lion keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys in so my next goes. video here we go peace you gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification. Hit that notification.